time to celebrate because we have got a new open source large language model that is super powerful and also commercially available for you to use. This is a model in the Mosaic Foundation series. Mosaic ML has released a new model called NPT 30 billion parameter model. We have already seen a bunch of previous Mosaic models and this is the 30 billion one that has beaten uh, GPT-3, the original GPT-3. doesn't mean like it is more powerful than the GPT-3.5 or the GPT-4 version, but at least it's a really good model and one of the best models that we have got in the open source community at this point. What is this model about? This is a new model that has got 8,000 context length. Uh, so you, are, you can have up to 8,000 tokens. Uh, that's, a, that's a really good thing because uh, uh, the more the context length, uh, you lesser you have to go for vector database and uh, you know, you, you, you have a lot of advantages. So you have good context length. That's the first thing. The second thing is, while this model is really good at 30 billion parameter model, the model has itself, like the predecessors of the model, uh, the MPT 7 billion parameter model, which we have already covered in this video, has got a really good appreciation in the community. People have been fine tuning it, people have been using it for different, different purposes. So now with the 30 billion parameter model, this can do programming really better. So because it has got new programming data and it supports longer context. And uh, this model uh, has uh, also what for Mosaic has done is they have put it in their own production and then they're making it available as an API for you to use it. So if you just want to do inference, Mosaic is also giving you an inference edition which we'll just discuss quickly uh, what are the models that they've released. So first thing is we have got the MPT 30 billion parameter, the base model. It's commercially licensed Apache 2.0 license, which means you can use it for any purpose that you want. So that's the first model. The second model that you have got here is the um, instruction model. So you have got the 30 billion instruct model and the 30 billion chat model. So these two are again fine tuned for a particular task. Like one is an instruction following model the second one is a chat model and they've also done a bunch of benchmarks to understand how this mosaic 30 billion parameter model uh, scores against the other popular family of models in the open source world like Llama and Falcon. And this is the comparison that they have got like comparing the models with 7 billion parameters and the right side is comparing the models with 30 to 40 billion parameter model. As you can see here, there are a bunch of tasks where Falcon is scoring really good. Like you can see the world knowledge. But there are some tasks like programming where MPT 30 billion has really done good. Like in fact, like much, much more than what Llama has done and uh, like way, way, way above what Falcon could have done. Also, if you see the 7 billion parameter model, you would see a very similar trajectory there as well. Like programming MPT does really better, but there are other aspects where it matches with the Falcon and the Llama models. So what does it tell us? It tells us that if you ever have to build a coding assistant, then this is probably the first model that you should touch and then start using it. And they have also noted that the 30 billion parameter model that they've got outperforms the 30 billion parameter and Llama's 30 billion parameter and Falcon's 40 billion parameter by a wide margin. And uh, it might even outperform models like Star Coder if you, you know, properly have the right resources and fine tune it. I personally tried the instruction model. So they've given a bunch of examples that you can check. But I personally tried the uh, instruction model and I found it really good. Like for example, I went and asked, can you give me a recipe? This is sorry, this is a chat model. Can you give me a recipe to make Hyderabad chicken biryani? Make sure to add some pineapple to it. I mean, like nobody adds, I don't know if anybody adds pineapple to biryani, but I just wanted to see if it can actually take that as an instruction and then follow it properly. And here is the recipe. The recipe is not complete, of course, the due to the tokens, but you can actually see Part of the recipe, there is one medium sized pineapple peeled and chopped into small pieces. So one, it took my instruction very seriously. It has added pineapple. Next thing I said is, okay, oh, sorry. I forgot to say that. Give me the recipe as a JSON object. I mean, this is one critical thing. People have been using a lot of uh, plugins, extensions, um, uh, packages like Godrails, just to make sure that you get a structured data output. Like a lot of things are important, but one of the important thing is to get a JSON output. And um, this can actually give a decent JSON output. You can see here. Okay, the first note, recipe, what's the title? The title is Hyderabadi chicken biryani with pineapple. What are the ingredients? One kilo chicken, two kilo basmati rice, two onions, four green chilies, and the preparation is also part of it. Right? Like what do you want to do? Two inches ginger, grated. Four cloves garlic, grated. Two teaspoon ghee, you don't have to do anything. Oil, you don't have to do anything. 
so it does a pretty decent job in terms of um, in terms of the the instruction that i have given and we can ask questions now because we know that this model is really good at programming now we can ask programming related question i can say can you give me a python code to read input data set please use pandas for this i can send this code now just a simple code uh, all i'm expecting it is to give me import pandas as pd and then the read csv file if you are also wondering how this code is running quite fast even when it is on cpu it has been powered by mosaic ml inference which is what we are going to discuss later so this is not hosted on a gpu this is actually hosted on cpu but it the code is not running in the cpu in itself it's a, it's an api that's being hit and then get the result is given us so can you give me a python code to read the input data set by use pandas okay it does really well can you change this code to work in r okay let me ask if it can work in r and uh, let's see can you change this code to work in r so basically i'm expecting it to either use a library like dp lawyer and uh, or reader yeah the reader is part of tidyverse cool so it does exactly the same thing import read print five rows import read print five rows and it has done perfectly well in r so i'm going to i'm going to say one more i'm going to ask one more question um can you give me a python code that uh, can build a simple bar chart okay so i'm just asking for a python code that can build a simple bar chart so again my questions are not um, not very sophisticated as you can see very simple questions and i'm also not doing uh, prompt engineering here nothing like tree of thoughts or a chain um, chain of thoughts so if we have a matplotlib we have a x and y create a bar chart add labels cool so the coding task it seems like it does really good and uh, that also confirms you know what they have figured out here right so if you see in terms of the world knowledge in in itself it's uh, it's not as good as uh, as good as like let's say the llamas or uh, the falcons of the world but in terms of programming it does really good that's what you have seen and this is also a very good comparison for you to realize or for you to make a decision if you want the 30 billion parameter model or the 7 billion parameter model often people always want the biggest people want the best uh, but not every time you want the biggest and best and this actually shows you that um, if you if you are okay to go with this trade off for example your use case is common sense reasoning the 7 billion parameter model and the 30 billion parameter model sounds fairly you know similar so you don't have to always go for the biggest one so it's um, pick it based on your use case so that you can also save money and cost and uh, how how are they doing the inference uh, that's where the the company like if you have been always wondering hey uh, they are giving uh, the model for free commercially available and anybody can use it they have also given the instruction fine tune model not just the base model but instruction fine tune model chart fine tune model so how is it that they are going to make money i mean like they are not a charity right and that's where this answer comes in you can deploy the 30 billion parameter models on mosaic ml inference so mosaic ml inference is actually a service that they launched um sometime back so you can add ai to your applications 15 times cheaper like how is it 15 times cheaper probably that is for a different video altogether but it's very easy for you to deploy these models like starting with their own popular open source models the 7 billion instruct model and the 30 billion instruct model you can easily go and deploy these models and also you have got an enterprise edition where you have got uh, the data control deploy it in your own cloud provider easy to use with uh, hugging face hub and all these kind of things so you can see the details about cost and all the information here um the main main thing here is that this is how they make money so you can host the model in ml mosaic ml inference and then you can start using it and they have also compared the cost savings if you're using the starter edition according to them it's four times cheaper uh, i always find it difficult to explain four times cheaper but yeah i, I mean look at the numbers so it's a, it's a 0.02 per 1000 tokens this is 0.005 per 1000 tokens last time when i tried to do the translation to million tokens i think i kind of missed up the calculation i still do not know if i messed up or not so anyways we'll stick to the 1000 tokens for 1000 tokens this costs almost like four times lesser than which means like it's like 200% savings for you almost four times lesser than um davinci and uh, i don't know why they are comparing it with curry um, because it's fastest that's what uh, their uh, pitches but uh, I, i i don't see anybody using curry anyways like so this this comparison doesn't matter to me but at least when you look at davinci 
you can see it's a four times cheaper but also they are quite clever in comparing it with davinci uh, the reason is because um, davinci was a good model honestly speaking it's not bad but gpt 3.5 turbo today is honestly a like much better model than davinci and um, probably cheaper than davinci so 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 yeah uh, so that's a point you can look at this detail so they always companies try to make them look good but i really appreciate their effort in terms of cheaper cost also open source model so in terms of um, the fine tuned davinci they're saying that they are 15 times cheaper uh, with respect to the 30 billion parameter model so overall this looks like completely interesting and you also get to fine tune you also get to um, either you use it as zero shot setting but if you want to do fine tune that is also something that they are easily providing so they've got like an llm foundry where you can go train your own custom models fine tune existing models so it's all extremely set up easily made it available for you if you want to do all these things for yourself overall bottom line we have an exciting new model we have discussed a lot of things in this video but if you want to take away three things first thing mpt 3 30 billion parameter model completely open source second is commercially available to use apache 2.0 license everybody is going to be happy third one is it does really good at programming like this what we have seen in the benchmarks so uh, i said three things but you know the fourth thing is they have also added instruct fine tuned chat model and the story writer models uh, sorry not story writer in this case instruct fine tuned and chat models which uh, which uh, which are something like people don't have to fine tune it themselves so it's an exciting time um, i would look forward to see how i can make a hands on tutorial with this because this is a 30 billion parameter model is going to be a big deal to fit into a gpu but let's see how it goes let me know in the comment section what do you feel about this new development in the open source community if you have any other question see you in the next video